Estimating the two-view geometry between a pair of images enables the creation of stunning 3D reconstructions. But what happens when the images lack discriminative structures, like these indoor images with repetitive patterns and uniform textures? In the traditional pipeline, we first estimate correspondences. A minimal set of correspondences is sampled, and a camera pose hypothesis is generated. This operation is repeated hundreds of times to generate a pool of hypotheses. Classical ransack-like methods use inlier counting to select the best hypothesis. In this example, inlier counting selects the pink frustum, a camera pose within a large cluster of similar hypotheses. However, this estimate is wrong. The correct pose is the red frustum. In this paper, we discuss situations when inlier heuristics are unreliable and therefore select incorrect camera poses. We also propose FSNet, an alternative to inlier counting that selects the yellow frustum. FSNet does not use correspondences, but instead relies directly on the images. But first, what's the reason behind ransack failures? Let's analyze it in more detail. In this plot, we show the statistics of state-of-the-art ransack successes and failures for pairs of images in ScanNet and Megadepth. Ransack fails when correct correspondences are degenerate, for example, when they can be explained with a homography. Ransack also fails when all sampled hypotheses are wrong. However, most often, Ransack fails when the inlier counting heuristic chooses the wrong hypothesis and discards the correct hypothesis. But why is an incorrect hypothesis selected? We found that there is a strong correlation between the number of correspondences and the quality of relative pose estimation. Where pairs of images with few correspondences fail to compute a good pose estimate, our method solves this problem by scoring hypotheses using input images instead of correspondences. To score hypotheses, we present FSNet, a network that estimates the pose error of the fundamental matrix hypothesis. First, we use a CNN to extract feature maps from the two input images. Then, a transformer network exchanges information between the two images using self and cross attention layers. The output features are reused for every input fundamental matrix hypothesis. The epipolar cross attention network embeds the fundamental matrix hypothesis into the feature maps. The cross-attention layer is limited to features that lie on the epipolar line, so the quality of the fundamental matrix impacts the coherence of the feature maps. The final block predicts the rotation and translation error for the input fundamental matrix. As seen in the failure cases, current methods fail the most in ScanNet, an indoor dataset. Here we plot the percentage of times a correct fundamental matrix was selected by the MagSAC++ or FSNet scoring, where a fundamental matrix is labeled as correct if the pose error is below 10 degrees. Our analyses show that the inlier heuristics are useful, and instead of disregarding them, we propose different strategies to combine them with FSNet. We propose a correspondence filter that looks at the number of absolute correspondences to decide whether we use inlier counting or FSNet scoring. We also introduce the candidate filter, which uses inlier counting to discard low inlier hypotheses and uses FSNet to refine the final decision. Thank you for watching, and please see the paper for more.